What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, I'm John. I'm going to let you know whether or not keto makes you fat. <laughs> but first, if you haven't already hit that subscribe, click that subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Hit that bell so you're notified when I put out future videos. Also, guys, if you haven't joined up to our Facebook group yet, go ahead and head over to our Facebook group. I always link it into the description. It's called If You're Keto Community. Just a great group of people sharing their keto experiences and their journeys. So we definitely welcome you to come and join up. We'll talk to you guys soon. guys so eating keto makes you fat you shouldn't do it <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys yeah so I'm gaining weight but it's actually something that I want to do I am trying to bulk and obviously whenever you're trying to put on muscle mass or get stronger um, you're going to require more food uh, food is energy you're gonna need that energy to expend yourself more in the gym and you just build more muscle your body's gonna need that energy to create what you want what you're asking of it and you know the body's pretty amazing in that aspect where it'll pretty much do whatever you ask it to and it'll adapt so this is like my first bulk ever like normally my whole entire adult life for sure but pretty much pretty much my whole life I've been trying to lose weight and so I made I maybe bulked the wrong way and didn't even realize that I was doing that but I never really bulked for like a, for strength gain or for muscle gain or anything like that and I just know you know a lot of people usually take advantage of the holiday season to get their bulking in because there is a lot of uh, food and social eating and things like that going on so I'm gonna just go ahead and um, jump into that uh, I've been doing this for about two weeks really but I've already been putting some weight on and for me guys that's like really difficult mentally because like I said, I've been trying to lose weight my whole life. I've never been trying to gain weight. It's just happened before. Like, that was just kind of the byproduct of going off and eating carbs and, um, you know, getting heavy. But I am staying ketogenic, but I am going to be bulking. So I'm sure there's going to be situations where I do indulge or I have a cheat day or something like that. I'm not too worried about that, guys. I'm going to go really based off of how I feel. If I eat something and it doesn't make me feel good, I probably won't eat it again. But, um, you know, I'm going to need to really make sure I stick to my guns and I'm going to get puffier, you know, I'm going to um, be more self-conscious. I was already in the mirror this morning looking at myself like, oh man, and I, and I didn't want to get on that scale because <laughs> I was trying to kind of trying to just not get on the scale for a while. But I was just looking so thick that I was like, man, let me get on that scale. And I, boom, I was uh, into the 200s, which I did realize, I knew I was probably going to going to do that. I didn't think it was going to come this soon, but that's all right, guys. We do want to get stronger. I want to put on some muscle. I want to get um, my lifts up, so it's going to require me to eat more food, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, and definitely engage with me. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or input or any any uh, anything at all that you want to comment to me. I really do love to hear your guys' comments, and I do try to uh, respond to each and every one of them, so um, hopefully we can get bigger, guys. That's the goal. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited. And if you've done a bulk in the past, uh, please let me know how it went for you, what your system was. I'm just going to be trying to, you know, go harder and, and push it to the limit every time. I already feel like I'm getting stronger. My lifts um, already this far, only two weeks in, um, I, I can see the rep increase. And that's something that I really do need to do a better job of is logging because um, that's the whole point is to get stronger. And if I'm not documenting how I'm getting stronger, then I won't really know how to gauge whether or not the bulk is working. Um, so I pretty, I really should get a notebook and just log everything, put it down so I know, okay, this is how many reps I got last time for how many sets at this weight. Oh, I did increase that because otherwise I'm just going off my memory and I've been lifting for so long now that, you know, maybe I'm just not remembering accurately. Maybe it's a different time that I got that, that but I didn't get it um, this year or, you know, I'm not really sure how that goes but i'm probably talking your guys ear off i just wanted to keep you updated i am going to be bulking from here on out probably all the way up until the, the end of january 
hopefully I can stick to these guns, guys. Like I said, I'm really insecure about gaining weight. It's just something that I've always struggled with. I feel already fat, and I know that sounds crazy, uh, but you know, I had an eating disorder and a food addiction for so long, and I was so heavy for so long that I still sometimes see myself as that heavy person. For those of you who don't know, I've lost over 150 pounds on my weight loss journey, and you know, then I found keto and was able to actually maintain the weight loss instead of yo-yo, yo-yoing back and forth of weight loss and weight gain. And now I'm actually like strategically trying to put the weight on. So it's just really different to me. So I'm learning as I go, but would definitely uh, encourage anybody who's got any advice or input to uh, comment down below. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys soon. That's gonna be it. I know it's short, I'm sorry, but I got some things to do tonight. So life's too short, so have a fantastic night.